Plants, though seemingly passive, have evolved complex defense mechanisms to protect themselves from herbivores, pathogens, and environmental threats. These strategies can be classified into two main categories, physical and chemical defenses. Physical defenses, many plants rely on physical barriers to deter predators. Thorns, spines, and prickles, found in species like roses and cacti, can make it difficult for herbivores to consume them. Additionally, thick, tough leaves, waxy cuticles, and bark offer a layer of protection against insects and pathogens. Some plants, like nettles, have stinging hairs that inject irritating substances into animals that touch them, creating a painful experience. Chemical defenses, in addition to physical barriers, plants produce a range of chemicals to defend themselves. Many plants contain toxic or bitter compounds, such as alkaloids, tannins, or cyanogenic glycosides, which deter herbivores from feeding on them. For example, nicotine in tobacco plants is toxic to insects, and the bitter taste of tannins in oak trees makes them less palatable to grazing animals. Plants can also produce volatile organic compounds VOCs, that serve as a chemical warning system. When a plant is attacked by insects, it releases VOCs that attract predators of those herbivores, essentially recruiting allies in its defense. For instance, corn plants emit a scent that attracts parasitic wasps when caterpillars feed on them. Induced defenses, interestingly, some plants can recognize when they are under attack and ramp up their defenses in response. This is known as induced defense. Upon being damaged, plants may produce higher levels of defensive chemicals or strengthen their physical barriers. This allows plants to conserve energy when threats are low, but respond effectively when danger is present. Through these various defense strategies, plants can survive and thrive in a world filled with threats, ensuring their growth and reproduction.